Buongiorno, I'm speaking to you from the Parco de Martirio de la Libertad here in the beautiful town of Bellagio in Lake Como. Tim is here with me, chilling in the park somewhere and I decided to come here to talk to you guys. So I'm the type of person that when I travel, I like to go from place to place, I like to tackle actually most of the uh, attractions in the location or as many attractions as I can because I have a little bit of a FOMO and I don't want to miss out on anything and I always make sure to research what are the best restaurants what are the best places to go what are the best sites to see but the intention of this trip was a little different the intention of this trip was actually to de-stress we've had a very busy last few months uh, with moving to a new apartment and everything so we decided to just come here to Lake Como for a couple of days to relax and Lake Como is the perfect place to do that so Lake Como is actually a massive lake in the north of Italy, in the region of Lombardia. And there's many different towns and villages spread around the lake. And uh, where you're gonna say it will depend on what you're looking for. In our case, since we are looking for complete relaxation and to de-stress from our daily lives, we decided to stay in a small village uh, next to a town called Varena. And uh, yeah, it's just a tiny little village. There is not much going on there. There are no tourists. Uh, we are staying in a small be uh, bed and breakfast run by a local family. If you're looking to stay in a place where there is a little more action going on, I would recommend staying in one of the bigger towns. There is actually so many different towns here, it's impossible for me to list them all. But the main towns are Varena, Como, Bellagio, Tremezzo, and Menaggio. It's gonna be impossible to visit all of these towns in just this trip because, as I said, we are here for relaxation, not to just you know, go, go, go all the time. And each town has its own characteristics. So in this trip, we are visiting both Varena and Bellagio, besides our little village where we are staying. And the first day when we arrived, it was raining a lot and uh, there was not much to do. And we actually just wanted to relax a little bit because it was a travel day. So we just stayed in our little village. And yesterday we decided to go exploring for the first time. And that's when we went to the town of Varena. So we just arrived here in Varena, which is one of the most beautiful towns here around this area of the Lake Como. Right after you leave the train station or the boat, and as soon as you see the red fences here, this is the way to go to the center of the town. And we have like very beautiful views from uh, this area of the Lake Como right in front of us. It's, it's amazing. What do you think? It's amazing. Look at this. Oh, there is a boat coming. Huh? It looks very weird, this hole in the middle. Oh yeah, but that's for the cars. To check that one, for example. So here is the ferry station, behind is the train station. And then from here we have the view of the lake. Well, you can see there is a little village on top. While walking here on the main road, we found this little passage that says 200 steps to a romantic view. Let's check that out. Okay, so we have to go 200 steps down. Let's see.
there is even a whole alley full of palm trees and it goes all the way up to the beginning of the garden. I'm actually very surprised about how vast the lake is. Like it goes all the way there. There's just so much. And this is just a small part of it. There are so many little villages if you check the other sides. And it just keeps on going straight there, here, and then on the other side as well. Uh, is this the epsilon that you were talking about? Exactly, it's kind of like a shape of an epsilon. So here are the two sort of like legs and then it continues here. And there on the other side is the town of Bellagio where we are going tomorrow. We gotta be careful walking here because from what I've heard the lake is 10 meters deep in this part. So imagine how deep it can get in the middle of it. These gardens are way more impressive than I expected. And it's quite big, right? Two kilometers long. Yeah, the smells here are so amazing. Like it's very intense very sweet but of course not in an artificial way yeah this is the real deal it's quite interesting that we see a lot of these sort of private small planes flying around so if you have the money to spend and you want to fly around Lake Como sounds like a good idea no? and this actually makes me realize how quiet it is because like when one uh, flies by it really dominates and yeah. then you realize ah it's very very nice and quiet here like now you only hear the water and the birds. The water and the birds. Fogato of strawberry ice cream with Prosecco. Oh, wow. Maybe dessert? Mm-hmm. Our timing is impeccable because now the clouds have rolled in. Ah, uh, true. It looks very impressive though. Ragazzi, buongiorno. Buongiorno. Prego. So, I would like to have a pasta carbonara. And I'll do the tagliatelle bolognese. Okay. Okay, I'm really hungry now. Me too. We were checking the opening times of the restaurants and uh, we saw that they open for lunch between 12 and 2. But when the sun kind of like came out a little bit, we were thinking of going to the villa where we just went right now. So when we arrived here in Verena, I forgot that the restaurant actually closes at 2. So we were like, okay, let's just go to the villa first and then go for lunch after. But we didn't realize how big the villa actually is. Well, I mean the villa, the gardens of the villa. And by the time we reached the end of the gardens, of course, all the restaurants were already closed. But then we found the Cafe Verena, which is already on my list for an aperitivo later on but we just we're just gonna have lunch here because that's our option but to be honest i'm not mad at it because we have an amazing view of the lake como right now so we have one of the best views and we are not paying a premium price because uh, usually when you go to a restaurant that has an amazing view you have to pay a little more a little extra just for the view i just ordered a carbonara and the price of the dish is nine euros a steal that's a steal because we checked the restaurants next door to here that also has this, the exact same view and the prices are double so yeah i'm definitely not mad at the situation right now let's try some of this do you want to try it uh, yes, please. yes. Let's see if he's gonna like it Oh yes, great. Mm. Cheers. It's very smooth, smooth, yes. Thank you. Welcome. I mean, for this price, it's quite decent. Not the absolute best carbonara I've ever heard in my life, but it's good.
just found this shop where they have like some different types of wines, some candy, some pasta. Oh, this one looks beautiful actually. Wow. Really nice. All the types of pasta, some Italian cookies, and of course, every time we travel to Italy or Greece or the Mediterranean, we like to buy some of these herbs. I highly recommend it. This one, for example, we bought one last year when we were in Taormina. If you haven't watched the video, I have the video here. This lasted for a whole year and we are still eating from it and we love it. If you just add this with some olive oil to your pasta, I guarantee you it's gonna taste amazing. Oh, they have some fresh pasta as well. Balsamico, condimento, aceto, olio extra virgin, mm, some pesto, mm, crostata. These look really good. Time to have some pizza because, well, Italy. Buon appetito! And since today we wanted a little change of scenery, we decided to come here to the main town of Bellagio. And to arrive in Bellagio, we basically took a train from our little village to Varena, and from Varena we took a boat to here. If you're planning on exploring Lake Como by car, great for you because you can literally just go to different villages and different towns uh, we are not exploring it by car we decided to just take the public transport which is really good by the way we didn't have any problems so far because they always come on time if like us you also want to explore Lake Como by train uh, you can easily download the train Italia app and uh, you can buy your tickets through the app. I think it's much better because uh, it, it also happened to us that in our tiny village there was no one there selling tickets. So the only way that we could actually travel was by buying the tickets through the app. And since the train goes only once every hour, we always have to make sure that we are at the train station at the right time because if we miss it, we have to, to just stay there waiting one hour for the next train to go. The trains here run until eight o'clock in the evening and then after that you can also just take a taxi. I know that from Varena, the main town, to our little village is 20 euros. Good morning, day two here in Taormina. Wait, it's not Taormina. Wrong, wrong, <laughs> wrong part of the country. Day two here in Lake Como. So we just got here to Varena by train again and we are on our way to take the ferry and today we are going to visit Bellagio, which is the most famous town here in the region. What was your impression of Varena? Varena. Okay, let me think. It was funny because when we first arrived, I thought it was like a super small town, literally only like those few restaurants at the water then it was a little bigger that's what i thought as well thought it was just gonna be basically a few streets and then that's it but it's a little more than that it actually had like a little city center with some restaurants and some shops yeah um, and my favorite part by far aside from the view was uh, this uh this beautiful garden oh uh, yeah the garden was spent, amazing like, the whole afternoon yeah and the lady at the hotel said that varena has more of like a calm vibe and Bellagio is more where everything is happening. So there should be more people there and more shops as well. But let's take the boat now and then see for ourselves what the vibe is like in Bellagio. They allege on this uh, sign that it's 23 degrees. Right now? Yeah. Oh, I'm don't fine with that. I feel it, but yeah. if it's going to be 23 degrees, that would be amazing. Yeah, and the weather forecast said that it was going to be raining the whole day and stormy. And it's perfectly fine. It's because of me, because I dressed so optimistically. Oh my god, look at this! <laughs> we're, we're in Italy, I, I want to wear shorts. Yeah, well, I'm not that adventurous, sorry. <laughs> it's not that warm, okay? But, but I, I made it happen. You made it happen, yeah. You're making it happen. Yes. So that's the place where you can buy the tickets for the ferry, and the ferry leaves from, yeah, very close by. I'm excited to see the view from the town, from the boats on the lake. So we just have to wait about 10, 20 minutes, 15 minutes.
Before we started exploring Bellagio, we needed a little coffee fix and we came across this really nice cafe. It's called Cafe Rosso. They have a very beautiful old style interior design here. I'm gonna wear it there. Ooh, brigadeiro! Nice! Mm, I also like this one, bubble rum. I can already tell that there is a little bit more of an upscale vibe here in Bellagio. Much more business, lots of like silk shops. And these are the famous stairs you often see in Bellagio's postcards. I love these Italian vibes with the beautiful architecture, nice flowers and in the balcony. A little aperitif with a wine bar right there. Lake Como in the background. And it's just nice to just pay attention to all the details around. Here in Bellagio, there's also many of these uh, ceramic shops. So those ceramics I recommend buying in the south of Italy, in the region of Amalfi Coast, because that's where it comes from. But this area of Lake Como is actually famous for the silk and the art. And leather also. Ooh, mm, truffle cheese. Ooh, these are cool. These are those typical Lake Como boats. And this is one of those typical souvenirs from Bellagio as well, that you should get before going home. I think they have some sort of candies and so many different styles of uh, cans. Oh, limoncello. From this area we can see Dermezzo, we can see Menaggio, we can see Varena on the other side and the snowy mountains at the end, very interesting. I hear church bells, it's 12 o'clock, time for lunch, we don't want to miss lunch this time. So we are gonna try, mm, these things are really good actually. They have a little bit of a taste of olive oil. Mm. We came to this place to try the pesce persico, which is a typical dish you have to try here in Lake Como. And it's seared, which means it's like baked at a really high temperature, just the outside. So inside it's a bit more raw still. Mm. So that should be interesting. Is that Leonardo da Vinci? Oh, it smells amazing. Wow, delicious. Oh, it has a really nice, well, taste, first of all, and also a really nice consistency. Mm. And the sauce is very uh, subtle. Mm. Wow. Mmm. Really good. Well, the sauce is really good. Even the potato is amazing. I'm gonna get a pure de latte and salted caramel. Mm. So which flavor did you get? I got pistachio and dark chocolate. Is it nice? It's chocolate. 
Mmm. Mmm. I love, I love it. It's perfect. Perfect. Very creamy. It's like a right balance of sweetness. Mmm. And the flavor is also so fresh. It's aperitivo time and we decided to come back here to the same place where we got the coffee earlier this morning, the Barrosi. And we just ordered two vodka martinis, very James Bond style, since we are here at the Lake Como. What is the name of the movie? Casino, Casino Royale. Casino Royale. Uh, and then, uh, Quantum of Solace is the next one, I think. A couple of days before coming here, we watched the James Bond movie uh, Casino Royale. So we got a little inspired by it. We are heading to Milan tomorrow. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you have to subscribe so you can follow our adventures in Milan. In the meanwhile, you can watch my Travel Italy playlist where you can find some inspiration for traveling to other parts of Italy as well. Ciao!